a few in between. I can't drink when I'm at work. It's just on my weekends, I want to have my time. The challenge of training students to better be able to work with veterans and military families means that we have to have Castilla be as sophisticated as possible. What we're really trying to do is to create a brain in Castilla that can handle and manifest the true interaction between the therapist and the veteran. Castilla has a certain number of objects that he knows how to talk about. You can ask him about his deployments. So you can discover um, how many deployments he's been on, what happened in those deployments, uh, the difficult parts of the deployments, um, and even further down, you can actually get into the symptoms of PTSD. The way we are planning to employ this technology is so cutting edge that it's been a continuous learning and really experimental process for us. Before the, the previous speech recognition software we had was something like 40 to 60 percent accurate, it's amazing now the Microsoft speech recognition is sometimes over 90 percent accurate. Do you take medications? No, I'm not on any medication. Do you ever drink alcohol to help you sleep? I drink alcohol to relax. Though sometimes it is the only thing that clears my mind and helps me sleep. How much do you drink? I don't drink that much. You know, I mean, 20 to 30 beers on the weekend. A few in between. Language-based cues are very important. The subtleties of human discourse. We're trying to build that into the Castilla model going both directions. From the therapist, it's communicated through voice recognition. From Castilla, it's communicated through human recordings of very specific statements that Castilla is able to make. It's just the arguments and, and, and the not understanding, not being able to communicate or just, I just want her to listen to what I have to say, acknowledge instead of trying to argue. It is important that we try to create the actual humanness of that, the, the real aspects of what voice imparts on both sides to really be effective in our teaching of these students. What is it that's so difficult to live with? A lot of guys are having strong reactions. So the Marine suicide has really affected you? It hits home when it's on your own base and people you know actually hung out with them. Did you know the Marine who suicided? I knew of the Marine. I hadn't worked with them right now. We need to constantly be improving the complexity of the language that Castilla is capable of. Human communication is immensely complex with subtle cues and a variety of other subtleties. It's a constant challenge, but it really is the mechanism by which we continually improve the brain structure of Castilla's language capabilities.